Welcome back to the channel. I am the Butterward, and this is The Legend of Zelda. Finale! And this will be the finale. I'm not splitting this into two parts. Uh, where we left off last time, we got to Dungeon 9, and it's kicking our ass. This is... I, I, I'm a couple recording sessions into trying to do this. Uh, we have the magic shield, by the way. You'll notice our shield has grown exponentially. That means it can block magic attacks now, which is vital in this fucking dungeon. Shit. Okay, well, we're fine. We have one goal right now. Above anything else, shit. And that's simply to make it to where we can, uh, get the first item of this dungeon. Because you see, this dungeon actually has two items. So you can survive these fucking blue mages. Oh boy, this is not gonna go well, is it? Basically... Okay, so this dungeon has two items in it. There's the, uh, shit. There's the red ring, and then the silver arrows. We need the silver arrows to beat the game, and we basically need the red ring also to beat the game, because what that is gonna do is reduce our damage, uh, taken to one-fourth. Which is vital, because you see how much damage we've taken so far. Luckily, I know exactly where the red ring is, because I'm not gonna lie, I've, I've tried recording this episode so many times. The like likes can take your magic shield away, so we need to be careful about that. But I've tried recording this episode so many times that I've memorized where that thing is. Is it this way? Yes. We gotta run. No! Okay, and from here, uh, that's Petra, that's the mini-boss shit that appears only in this dungeon. There ain't gonna be any health drops, unfortunately, in this part, because these things don't want to. And we don't have the health. Fuck. We have five dollars, though. Oh wait, no, that's not the right way. It oh wait, yeah. There we go. We're almost there. Now we just have to kill this. Now Petra, th that's basically just how Petra attacks. She has this ring of tiny hers. And she'll s shoot it in a ring three times around the arena. You can't damage her until they're all dead. Okay, I guess when you kill, like, a certain amount, she also can't do the ring attack anymore. And now we have the map, which is great. There's an issue, though. Whiz robes are everywhere in the next room. Oh boy. I don't like this. I, You know, I didn't actually have to do this in hindsight. Because I just realized this isn't the room where the stairs are. It's a hidden room to the north. Ah, oh, that's great. I have one health and I have to fight whiz ropes. That's fucking amazing. There's the red ring room. Nope. This is not going to go well, at all. And there's three bubbles, that's great. Nope. Ah. We'll be right back. Alright, we're back. <clears throat> and we've bought something. We now have... Medicine. Specifically, the red one. There's a blue one and a red one, and... Going against how generally things go in this, the red one's actually the better of the two. As the red... Jesus. As the red one... 
gives you two uh, uses of it before it craps out, basically. Our main goal is we're just trying to get to the red potion above anything else. And we're not doing well so far, because once we have the red potion, it's going to get a lot more manageable. Yeah. Okay. These fucking blue mages, man. They fire at such a fast rate, it's very hard uh, to really get some timing down to properly kill them. Come on. Oh, rub it all over in my body. There we go. That's nice. Like I said, we are just trying to make it as far as we can to get to the red ring. Because once we do that, it's a lot more manageable from that point onward. So yeah, there are two items we gotta get, and they're both actually kind of in the same place. Uh, they're both in the corners of the heads. Those being the silver arrows and the red ring. Now, the red ring, like I said, will caused us to only take a fourth of our original damage that we did when we didn't have the rings. The, uh, the blue tunic, which we have right now, the blue ring, halved it, the red one, the red one fourths it, I guess. So, this is gonna be very good. We need that ring. Because these fucking whiz robes, and there's too many of them. This is gonna- this is just a fucking slaughter. We just- We need to kill these guys as fast as we can. There we go. It does not matter how much damage we take- we took. We have it now, the red ring. <laughs> it's within our grasp, finally, after like four different recording sessions. Please tell me we're recording. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Alright, come on. Okay, so Link now has- Link now can only take a fourth of the damage, so he is a lot beefier now. Look at him. He looks fucking scary in that in that garb. Oh that okay, that works out a lot better. This is a lot more manageable. The other thing is that if you kill uh, all the enemies I think if you kill all the enemies in a room in this dungeon. Not sure if this is all the dungeons or just this one. They don't respawn. So, slaughter everything. Even though we don't actually have to come this way again. We have everything we needed. So now, we go... I don't know what's actually to the east, so we're gonna check this out. I know that we actually need to head to the north, but... I just wanna see what's over here. Alright, neato. there a reason for this room to exist? Okay. Okay, that- that's not good. We just used all our arrows and all we got are bombs, which we don't actually need. Oh boy, okay. we, we're gonna need more rupees than two, which hopefully we get by the time we get to the boss because we need arrows to kill him. Because that's the thing. Silver arrows, those aren't an optional item. You need those to beat the game. They are, an, they are a must-have item. What's over here then? Oh, hello. It never hurts to explore. You don't know what we can find, and we may get monies, which, like I said, we need. We don't need the bombs, though. That is not necessary. Oh, hell yes! Oh, shit, man. This is just... this is relief. Sweet victory, indeed. At the very least, we know who that there are, uh, no secret I don't think there are any secret rooms over to the right of us. What's in here, though? Yeah, it's also bullshit that when the wizards teleport like that, they can still damage you. 
I don't know who thought of that, but they are evil and they are going to hell. There we go. We should probably light our way. There we go. That's nice. There's no door. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Anything down here? Yep, nope, this room sucks. Okay. Well, it's time to backtrack. Which isn't going to be uncommon for this dungeon, but... Still, at the very least, we have all our bombs back. Ganon has fucked around for far too long. It's time he about to find out what happens when you mess with a small elf man. It ain't gonna be good. You ever see the movie Elf? It's gonna be the fucking Peter Dinklage scene. I am tired, man. We don't need that. Okay. Hmm. To the north. Fuck you, Petra. You you ain't got shit. Okay, we There, I destroyed your ring. Where are you gonna You can't do that. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. Well, this is beautiful. Oh boy. Really? Really? Okay, so yeah. Go to the next room. Nice. This will act this and this will take us deeper into the dungeon where we actually need to go. Good. <laughs> okay, that works. First, we gotta bomb the walls, though, because you never know when there's a secret way. Okay, yeah, probably not one up there, so I shouldn't have done that, but that's fine. Look at us, we're rocking in our tank armor. We got this. And you're gonna find this is a very common occurrence with the dungeon. Warps. Everywhere. It's so much fun, I hate it so much. Okay, well there's... Let's do a bit more exploring before we do that. That that seems fun. Shit. Too many of these fucking bubbles, man. Yeah. Shit. Really? No! Okay, that did nothing, so... Is there like a... Is there a hen wall over here? No, okay, there's not. Well, that sucks. Anyway, what's over here? That's a terrifying foe indeed. Have I ever used the magic boomerang in this playthrough? <laughs> what the hell? down here, though. Why are there so many warps? Why? Okay, we'll just pick this one, because why not? No! No, you bitch! Please, God, help. Yes! Yes! No! No! <laughs> There. Got him. Get shit on. Okay. Well, we learned that th that warp's completely useless. 
so that's good to know. I thought you guys weren't supposed to respawn, man. What the hell? Okay, I don't... I'm not gonna complain. There we go. What's up here? Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Wait, do you guys still do that? Why? Okay. We gotta try the walls, just in case. I don't think... probably nothing here, but... Oh, never mind, there is. I know I have that. You, you stupid motherfucker. Get fucked. Run! I'm, I, I don't know if I see it, but I'm a little panicked trying to do this, because I do not want to lose any progress here, because this dungeon is way too large and in charge for my taste. Shit, there we go. Okay, so that didn't work, unfortunately, so let's try this. Maybe this warp, warp will work. Will be better, I guess. Please. How am I... Oh, God, I'm... Okay, I've only got two bombs. I actually have to be careful now. Ah, shit. Nope. Okay, not smooth, but it worked. Okay. This is the last one. Okay, cool. No, we need one. You. Ah, uh, game, I love you. Uh, uh, just as long as we don't die. That was my bad. Uh, fuck. We'll be right back. And we're back. We've made it back to the room. Everyone is dead, luckily. And we're alive. The last one standing, and it's time to get the silver wagon arrows. I am very... Oh my god. I can't wait. Like, I love this game. And this dungeon's actually been pretty fun to play through, not gonna lie. I just... I've been pausing more just because it's been a lot of backtracking trying to get the places. I have died a few times. We'll be right... Uh, and we're back. And we've done it. The Silver Arrows. Beauty Incarnate. The Silver Arrows work identically to the regular arrows. They're just magical, I guess. I don't think they actually do any more. They may do more damage in general. I'm not sure. Maybe they can attack Wizrobes now, because if that's the case, it's beautiful. Let's... Nope, they can't do shit. I don't care, just kill me. Because that'll be quicker, honestly. What was I thinking? No, that's not gonna be quicker, but that's beside the point. So, we have everything we could need to fight Ganon. We have all the items that we need. We are good. We only now need to get to Ganon which I know how to do. So we don't have to go through the fucking several-bit labyrinth there, because I know the path. We just have to get back to where we were before, and we're good. Shit. If we can survive long enough to get back to where we were before... I don't want to have to use the potion quite yet, but I might have to if things get really bad. Okay. Come on. Give me some life. 
Bring me back to life, please. You bitches. Y'all bitches. Alright. We just have to get- Also, I forgot to mention, I did find the compass. It's down here. Uh, there's a hidden wall. You go to- Sorry. You go down there, there's a hidden wall, and you blow that up, and that leads to the eye- to the right eyeball, the little shadow area. And there's some whiz robes in there, you kill them, and you get the compass. Forgot to show that, sorry. Okay. Ah, uh, shit, you guys. Oh shit, no. Okay, fuck it. Not again, not again, not again. Glass cannon, glass case. Alright. Now, just swap to anything that's not that. So from here, we go, we'll get back to where we were before in the southern bit. Up ahead. My brain is shorting out, man. Okay. Yeah, so here we are. Yeah, now you drop life, you fucking dicks. Okay, we go over here. Right? Yes. We go over here. Shit. We go over here, and then we go up. We don't go through the warp station, we go up. There's gonna be a bunch of like likes, which. Not really an issue, this is... We, especially right now, we have the sword beam, so... We're pretty alright right now. This isn't a threat. We kill them all, and then we go left. Ganon, prepare your ass, because I am coming. There we go. To the left. And then... Well, that's not really much of a threat, but we just go up. Oh, hey, the sword... Oh, sweet, yeah, the sword beam works against these guys. We go up. Blade trap... Fuck. Okay. Focusing! There we go. Stab! Shit! Okay. There we go. And this should take us to warp point. Uh, it's the next warp point. What we do now... ...is we go... ...over here! Oh, you know we're taking advantage of this, though. Hmm. Okay, now we go over here. There we go. And now we have another warp point, and let me guess, no whiz ropes! There are no whiz ropes. I am... confused, but very happy there are no whiz ropes. Shit. At the very least, they can't knock me into the like light, because if that was the case, that would just be a pure dick move. But, no! <laughs> yeah, okay, they didn't get my shield, that's good. That could have been bad. That could have been very bad. I don't want to lose my magic shield, like, right now. We're almost to Ganon. That would suck so hard. Okay. Especially because, like, the magic shield's pretty expensive. I think mine that I got was at, like, a secret zone, and it cost me, like, 90 rupees. So we definitely don't want to deal with that. We can deal with this. This is fine. We have, we have one dose of the potion left, and Ganon's not that hard. Because we're right here. We're at the end point. Are we recording? Yes, we are. Here we are, guys. The last bit of Zelda. From the Ganon, bitch. Well, first off... Wait, what? Oh, hey. There he is. So, Ganon's invisible. I don't think- I don't think the arrow affects him right now. 
Yeah, I forgot how much this sucked. Okay, so he should be... Yeah, okay, I get, I get now. Okay, there are patterns. Oh, wait. I don't think there are patterns. Wait, what? Okay, so this is one of the places he can be, though. Probably gonna need the potion. Okay, yep, yeah, there we go. Yes! We didn't need the potion, actually. And he's dead! Say Ganon is dead. Please tell me we got that. Fuck yeah. We have the Triforce of Power and Courage. And now it is time to reunite. Well, not reunite, but save Princess Zelda. Oh shit. Oh yeah. There we go. We've done it. Thanks, Link. You're the hero of Hyrule. <laughs> Finally, peace returns to Hyrule. This ends the story. Staff, exec producer H. Yam Yamuchi. I apologize. S. Mayon. Director also, S. Mayon. 1010, 1010. Dinakazu. Yachan. Um, nah. I can't speak Japanese, I'm sorry. Their request will start from here. Press the start button. Because, yes. There's also the second quest, which is just a shuffled version of the base game. And it is weird going back right off the cusp of finishing the first one, because, man, I forgot how weak I was. But yeah, I'm just gonna pull out the save state there. And there we go, guys. That's The Legend of Zelda. I really enjoyed doing this for a channel, and I'm looking forward to covering the rest of the series. It's hard to believe it's over, though. I hope y'all enjoyed this, fr this series. I really enjoyed making it for y'all. I'll be sure to see you in the next one. Keep an eye out for the next part in our saga with Hyrule and its legendary hero of time. I'm losing my mind, I'm sorry. Word's not coming to me. I'll see y'all in the next video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you did. I've been the Butterlord. Bye-bye.